every t- every time I they bring that up, I like I watch like an update on that. They're like, we've got the finest on here. You know, we've got the finest on the job. We got the FBI. I'm like, okay, you got the FBI. I'm like, but the locals in Moscow, Idaho, Idaho, okay, they are they are bottom barrel. Okay, like let's not act like you could have the absolute fucking MVP. You could have the fucking Inspector Gadget. Uh, you could have the the Matlock of the Idaho, the Ma- Moscow, Idaho Police Department, and he's still probably dumber than shit. <laughs> oh, it's it's he, Dudley he, Do Right. Yeah, he's, de- he's Detective Go- Doofy from fucking yeah. Scary Movie yeah. One, dude. He's just he's fucking... that. Yeah, he's that guy who's like the sheriff. He's like the mayor, the j- you know, he's like the head jailer. You know, what I'm like school he's counselor, just, school like, counselor. Man. Yeah, like I, I. So every time I hear that, I'm like, bro. When people are like, we're so pissed off that we don't, we're, you know, we're two weeks removed and we don't have a suspect. I'm like, bro. They keep telling you that the FBI doesn't really do much in here. They kind of assist. So, like, it's up to those local fuckheads to kind of do the job. And we're relying on. I didn't even know there was a Moscow, I, Moscow, Idaho. So, like, dude, I don't you know, think the FBI you. even knew about it for a couple of days. And like, you have to imagine it's just because like they're using like a fax system or something down at the Moscow, Idaho <laughs> fucking police department. Well, yeah, and then, then it took them another two days to find it. They're like, they're like, yeah. we've been, they're like, we've been fucking driving around in a circle. They're like, you're the FBI. They're like, we know, but we can't find you shit I moves slow and i alton gardens <laughs> on my way to fucking kimwick they had I to do that you. one thing where they're like we're gonna pull over at the walmart you come get us take yeah. us the rest of the way come on ice road truckers <laughs> yeah, dude so. I, everything fucking apparently takes forever in idaho they took them fucking nine hours to call the cops i mean bro okay yeah that, and that's what's so so i actually heard so there there's a little details coming out about the little 911 call and you know, everybody's freaking out because they're like how the fuck did they not know because you know they were like the police call was for like a uh like an unconscious person and they were like how the fuck right. did you see that? And and as, as horrific as this, I mean, there's blood coming on the outside. I don't know if you see. <laughs> yeah, that. they are out. unconscious with those holes in them. So blood is pouring out of the house like fucking hills have eyes. Bullshit. Right. Like, it's so like insane what they're finding. But what I'm finding out today is is that because you know they said it was you. They would. They said that the the phone call, the the 911 call is made off one of their phones, but they wouldn't tell you who called. So at, what happened is is when they saw the two girl survivors saw what happened apparently they ran outside and one like fainted and like people pa- passing by came up and called the police off her cell phone and said we've got somebody who just fainted so the initial thing was the unconscious so they arrived thinking somebody just passed out in the front and fainted <laughs> and women, then, are, women are shit in a crisis yeah and then the other one was apparently goats, so dude. hectic and so like was so like lost and just like couldn't put words together and was like so frantic so like you know that makes sense so, because you know that makes a lot more right. sense because then because the, then they say they showed up and then found the four people but i've been hooked on this shit like i am like every day i'm like how the fuck long is this gonna take because like they don't know what they're doing like at all well it's a crazy crime to begin with like going into a house and stabbing four out of six people and just leaving and then the two other people have no idea they slept through it like how the so fuck so does that happen, bro? Well, and that's why they say that they think a lot of it was targeted because, like, what they think is is that, like, he stopped or whoever this was stopped after they got their intended target. So, like, and and they think that a lot of the people think it was that Kaylee girl um, who would, like, they keep saying had a stalker and shit. And um, so they think that she, she was on the third level. Um, he went in through the set. Whoever went in through the uh, sliding glass door on the second level. Um and then that couple with the guy and the girl were sleeping, killed them, went up to the third level, probably went into the other girl's room first, killed her, and then went into the Kaylee girl's room after killed her and then and then left because, you know, th- so and that's like what the, the most like realistic theory is, is that, that somebody was that because apparently this girl was like, pot- I mean, you've seen there, they're like all those girls were hot as fuck. Like they're all college girls, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like that's the kind of guy like that's the kind of chick that has a stalker. I mean, she was like blonde, like super yeah. popular. The only the only thing I thought might be like a different like a different way of working out that was that okay say the guy goes to the third floor and kills whoever uh, or maybe he, his whole goal is to kill everybody and he like goes and he kills the two girls on the third floor then comes down to the second floor and my thought was possibly that the he was probably expecting another woman alone in her bed. And when it was a girl and a guy, maybe there was some more resistance than 
the killer had originally intended. Maybe he got fucked up, like cut or something like that. And then he dipped instead of going to kill the remaining two people. That was yeah, my it, only other. It definitely theory. could be. I mean, because they said the kid, they, the dude was found on the floor. So, and, and I think he's the one that probably had defensive because they they said a one or a couple of them had defensive wounds, which I or maybe they just said. Some yeah, some they said time. some of them. They said some so, of them. I was trying to figure out the wording on that because I was trying to figure out if he like fucking. So to me, know, like, I feel like it was, on two, snuck up right. on two people and then like. Well, I yeah, I think he he was found on the floor, so I think. He, he probably had the defensive wound because you got to think if you're even no matter what, if even no matter how quiet you are, if you're stabbing two people in bed, like the first one's going to stab the second one's more than likely going to wake up during that. You know what I'm saying? And be like, what the fuck? I mean, you know how good you'd have to be to stab somebody multiple times to death while they're sleeping next to somebody and that person not wake up at all. So I mean, I mean if you stab somebody we, really good the first time, then the second person's just, you know, free game. Yeah, know. yeah. Here's the FOC and personal experience. So I got stabbed. Do I get did get stabbed by a fat boy knife? So, uh, it, it and it was serrated. But no, dude, fucking. Look at you. You, you still kicking though? I'm still kicking. I didn't get it nearly as bad. Yeah, I'm still alive. <laughs> You're tougher than any of them pussies I'm, up in Boise, Idaho. Yeah, dude. Oh get man, it I wouldn't talk ill of them. They they probably fought hard, man. But. But yeah, but anyway, so I just wanted to say I'm, I'm I can't quit watching that. So we'll 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 stop talking about the depressing shit. But before we do anything, I do want to thank anybody who uh, I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, a, a good holiday yeah. weekend. Um, thank you guys, whoever joined us last night for our spaces and who's been joining us. Um, you know those have been going well. Um, we're enjoying yeah, doing that. Adele, shout out. Adele, shout out. You're our fucking. I mean, dude, at this point, you're like when we do have a VIP package, you will be the first one. Um, so you might get like a PCR like coaster or something. You can start our feature. <laughs> you can be the first <laughs> a can koozie. <laughs> can koozie. <laughs> you can be the first student of the PCR's version of Hustlers University for free. Yeah. Yeah. You actually can, yeah. You when you will be the first person that Jack teaches his ways when he when he enrolls in fucking uh it's we'll, it's, we'll, it's hustle. You want to get into that? Well, we'll get into it in here in a second. So, so, so when you'll be the first one to, you don't get to, well, once you explain it, you'll be the first one that gets firsthand now the hand me down knowledge that Jack's going to acquire here soon. I'm going to become a Sith Lord. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, so anyway, so we just want, you know, hope everybody had a good holiday weekend, a long four day weekend. Um, uh, and it's good to be back. Um, on, uh, but, uh, you know, on that note, though, um, we had a USA fucking win today um we Hell have to yeah. start out on that i mean because i don't know shit about none of us give too really too much about soccer so like let's just get that out of the way we'll just say fucking usa baby i saw but, Stu, but defeating iran always feels good dude and i saw Stu's tweet I, I i don't i mean right after this the keep pushing you know what i'm saying like keep <laughs> trying kids you know what i'm saying one day you might be able to put in a, a a undressed titty in your mouth um you'll be able to in, see a chicken in a swimsuit someday iran just but keep, until then, trying. but until then, um, we're going to the round 16, baby. So, yeah, we get those freaky it. deaky Dutch in the next round. So I don't know. I mean, I'm I just couldn't bear the thought that we'd lose to Iran today. That would have been just so fucking Can embarrassing. You imagine? Well, Dude. and then it came down. Well, then the whales or whoever lost or won. So like it came down to like, we didn't even have to fucking lose. We just had to get, we just couldn't tie or anything. We just had to like, it literally became like full defense mode. You know, it's just like, don't get scored yeah. on after our, which, you know, Captain America scored that, whatever the fuck his name is. I guess they're calling him Captain America. He scores that goal and then gets hurt. He leaves. Was, um, Christian Pulisic, right? Yeah. Pulisic. Yeah. I don't, yeah, he said, I mean, apparently he's like the the guy. Like everybody kept calling him the LeBron James of soccer. I don't know what that means, but, um, uh, but I, he's already said he's going to play Saturday. So you know, Good. he's got a he's got a pelvic injury. So AK his dick's too big. Um, he got kicked right in the dick. Do you think goal. they're doing? Do you think they're doing some uh, heavy riding in Iran right now? Like, like, do you well, think they re- I, do you think they react the same way we react in America? Well, like they've never no teams no. Lose? Cause they've never even oh. advanced and they've never in their history gone past this point. So like they, I don't, they can't like, I doubt they expected it, you know, bloodlines end tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, straight up. Like there is, there's some weapons of mass destruction being deployed this evening. And, uh, 
somebody's village is getting wiped out. But it, it the is reset it, button on their soccer program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, they, the next four years, so they're, they're a group of guys are going to get put through some rig, four dudes, like 11 guys who've never played soccer. They're going to go through like the most rigorous, like just boot camp. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, this, the, all this their resources cur- go into soccer. <laughs> the few teenagers <laughs> that are still wanting to hang around. <laughs> the current, yeah. uh, the current Iranian team was like considered their golden generation. Like it was, you know, like one of the best year, you know, groups of Iranian football that they've had in, you know, generations. Hey, they put up a fight, man. Yeah. So I, I mean, they actually didn't look half bad. So I mean, I, I, I don't know what soccer, good soccer looks like. I'm not gonna pretend I do, but um, God, I'm just so fucking happy we won. I they, 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 they put up a good fight. They looked better in the second half, but. They felt they went out like some bitches though, because they started just diving in the box instead of pushing for a trying to get a goal and tie it up, get a draw, go to the minutes. They started to try to draw fouls. It's like it's cool. So now you just kind of like went out like a bitch. Yeah, it was it was a pretty uh pretty ridiculous last like 10, 15 minutes. Like it was just like but you know, it doesn't matter. Fuck them. We held on to win. USA, USA, USA. So it is what it is. I mean, yeah. Can I get a fucking nationwide dog chat? <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Fucking get out of here, Iran. That's dude. Jack, Jack hit Jack hit us up with the fucking the uh, the flock of seagulls. the flock of seagulls play on Iran oh, yeah. earlier, and Couldn't dude, get away. It's been stuck in my head since because they did. They turned around and ran around, ran away. I didn't, even have, I didn't even have to play it. I just literally posted the words. And I ran just... so far away. That was all you needed. Yeah. So hopefully we don't lose on Saturday. I don't know shit about shit. So we'll see. We'll talk about it. Uh, well, man, maybe Monday on the space. Maybe we'll talk. We'll just wait till next week. Who fucking knows? This time next week, hopefully we're still playing soccer or football, whatever you want to say. I bet a lot it's of the soccer. Dude... We won today. We played yeah, it's soccer, soccer baby. Yeah. yeah. I bet a lot Straight of up. the Americans who went to Cutter are like fucking pissed that we won because they like, have to continue to not be drinking alcohol for like another like week. I saw or, like, that one damn, guy dude. get tossed out of the stands. No he shit. For... It was at a uh, a big old fat American dude, and he was wearing a. 99 problems jersey and Let's then he had go. a uh, uh rainbow armband dude and, and, and they don't they, do they, that they, gay they, shit they, they peeped the armband and they escorted his ass out yeah you should have worn the he hate me xfl jersey that would have been cool <laughs> should wear like a little like a little nas x hockey sweater <laughs> with the devil yeah. blood shoes with the oh, devil blood shoes dude they actually probably would have like honor killed him <laughs> like, <laughs> that's, like, how you get, that's how you get thrown off the world cup stadium like that's actually how you get stoned to death in public <laughs> they're, yeah, like, they're, they're like oh yeah motherfucker you thought this was a fucking yoke bitch like no that would be a really know. funny thing to do to just hack into the fifa like world cup and just play uh that little Nas X video where he's stripping with the devil. <laughs> he's just fucking twerking Brian and Hall grinding on him. That off. Yeah. Dude, they wouldn't fucking... dude, they, they couldn't they process would... that. Dude, their minds would melt. Oh yeah, that would be that's how you cure all that. That's just like would reset their hard drive, just like everything yeah. would go, it would would wipe go to normal. Yeah, <laughs> Iran's yeah, a factory yeah. reset, dude. Because what, like, once you go something that's so far out of their culture, they're gonna end up somewhere in the middle. You know what I mean? They're like, well, we don't want that, but oh, okay, we can be cool and let's have some oh, alcohol oh, here. They're just yeah. kissing now. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. they're holding yeah, well, hands. It's cute, kinda. Kinda. Yeah, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so I mean, that's, you know, good shit. 1-0 victory. Uh, like I said, I don't know shit else about soccer. So uh, another fucking hilarious thing that I did see this week uh, that I want, that I was just scrolling through our, our fucking Discord. And dude, I totally forgot that uh, Jerry Jones uh, was spotted in this racist ass <laughs> picture. And that is the funniest fucking thing that I have ever, maybe ever seen. I totally forgot about this. And CNN apparently talked about it, but so apparently we got fucking. So Jerry is, 
front yeah, and center. Uh, yeah, dude, he's not he's not one of them. He's not a bitch. He ain't hanging in the back. He was right up front going, Oh, I see Jerry. Nope. Uh so yeah, here's Jerry. Uh basically doing Wait, what he that's does. Jerry dead, that's not Jerry dead center. That's Jerry Jones right that's there. That's Jerry right there. Yeah, that's Jerry. Oh, you yeah. can't see my yeah, mouse, this, but this yeah. is Jerry. Yeah, that dead center's got yeah where the mouse is now. I just okay, like I this see. guy. That's John C. Riley. Right there. Yeah, that's, so, John, yeah, that's literally that's literally <laughs> that's literally John C. Riley. So oh, apparently, man. this is a picture of him standing with a crowd of white students blocking six black students from entering a North Little Rock High School in Arkansas. So I mean, Little Rock, Arkansas, shocker. Um, but I mean, he's basically playing the role. I mean. He ain't he exactly like, spectating. He's in the mix. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's not one of these dudes that on the outskirts. Like he's right up in there. Like he's not exactly he, Forrest Gump in it. <laughs> I mean, he's not this guy here. This guy with a cigarette is serious. This guy, yeah. this guy wants is going to make sure no these kids don't get by. He's I'll like the die before that you come in. He's like the Bill Burr. Don't let him in the pool. <laughs> yeah, get out of the pool. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's fucking hilarious because. I think it's I think it's ironic because I feel like that's kind of like his uh I mean he is a slave owner, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like we kind of look at him as like he like out of all the owners, he is probably the most likely to have been I mean he just looks like he came from a plantation, doesn't he? Yeah. Like he like ran one I mean, or his dad his, did and he like was ago, all about it. He would have been sitting on the front porch. I mean his his team's name is a group of famous white people known for fighting minorities i mean that's what a cowboy is right <laughs> yeah, I I mean, cow, cowboy, <laughs> cowboy, cow, cowboys fight indians i'm saying that i mean fucking, that's, I maybe it's know. a stretch maybe that's a stretch no that's no, like the that's like wrong. the urban that's the urban dictionary version of a, of a cowboy like it's like the real version of a cowboy the the I mean, the cowboys and indians school dude, history on. book version a of a cowboy would just Run cattle. Mm, that that that's the piece. Jack ain't buying it. Cowboy. Yeah, he yeah, ain't buying that, it. Jack that ain't, ain't buying that. They John Wayne bullshit. Yeah, you dude, thought you could on. pull the fucking hood over his eyes? I don't think so. Cowboys were bandits and going along the, you know, I'm not. <laughs> uh, bandits were bandits. I don't. I don't know, dude. Outlaws aren't cowboys. Outlaws. I don't know. I don't fucking. The James know brothers. Western they weren't. The, they weren't the cowboys. They were the James gang. Stu, not all of us were lucky enough to be raised by their grandparents and shown all the old westerns, okay? I'm not hip with the lingo, okay? <laughs> Stu's like, bro, fuck you. What do you mean? Fuck you. This thing's no cattle, Russell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, that's so fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to anyway. start calling me. He's going to start calling me a yellow belly. <laughs> after, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, Stu? Uh, and what what do they call a uh, yuppie? That's what they are. You fucking yuppie. That's what he's called. Uh, and that what they call them in uh, Duck Dynasty. And that what they call the uh, the normal folk yuppies. Yuppies, yuppies. Yeah, that's funny. yuppies and yuppies. Yeah. Speaking of speaking of well known racists, um, but uh, yeah. So I just want to touch on this. But I I do think we need to. This is where we need to get into uh, lay the foundation for Jack's. Uh, you know, joining the Andrew Tate University. But before we get into that, I do want to tell you that I did something right before we got on here that was super non, not Andrew Tate wouldn't approve of this. And I, I tripped back. I fell backwards pissing earlier, like right before we got on here. So corner, not top G. So I was like pissing and I, the corner of my foot clipped the, uh, our um, uh, scale. And and mid piss, I fell backwards and hit the wall. So I, dude, it was a fucking incident. It, it was an incident. Midstream, dude. So you arced. Dude, that's it. fucking great. Oh, I fucking arced it. I Did there you was piss a, all there over was the a, walls, dude. There was a cleanup. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Did, uh, did you have like to I, I would already be out? Like I think I'm already out. Like I can't even like I can't even walk you into university on your first day. I'm such a pussy at that point. Did you? Like, have I to can't drop your you clothes. Off. No, I didn't. Not have change my clothes. I. I pull my pants down to my ankles when I pee. No, just like... <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, oh my god! No, I didn't. Uh, I I didn't. I was. I... <laughs> you're still in your you're still in your piss clothes right now. Yeah, funny, funny, <laughs> funny, 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 pulling up his fucking jersey. <laughs> <laughs> just piss stained. 
<laughs> no, funny what enough. Fuck? Funny. I was about to hop in the shower, fuckhead. And uh, I, oh was, I was standing there fucking pissing, dude. And it just went south from there. But so, no, no, I'm not. I didn't piss. Bro, you think I'd piss on? I got some Michael Kors. I'm, I'm not going to show you. But I, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll stand up at the end. But I got some Michael Kors uh, sleep pants on right now that, bro, even if I did piss on him, it'd probably bounce right off. I was gonna say, man, is that your p- getting pissed on outfit or something? Because yeah, said dude, you, I just yeah, yeah, Jack, I just pissed myself and sat down. That's that's what I did. Just pissed myself <laughs> and sat down. But no, yeah, I I just thought that, damn, dude, what an unfortunate thing to happen. That's awesome, today. dude. Not really. I mean, it it was uh, I mean, it's, I had it's a, funny. It was funny, but I it's had to turn for, the shower for the off audience. So the, so the so the so the water didn't run while I fucking cleaned up my goddamn accident. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> because I fucking tripped over, fell backwards, pissing. Were but, you home uh, alone? Yeah, I'm home alone. Come on. Dude. Oh, I didn't. Well, I didn't know if your girl was there. I didn't know if you had to suffer that L in private or if you had to do it in front of somebody. <laughs> dude, I should. I'd she'll never it. know you're gonna take that to the grave <laughs> dude oh my i just would have been podcast. like i'd have been like shan i'm getting in the shower clean it up <laughs> <laughs> your uh, favorite your yeah, favorite. Gotta record yeah take care of this but, yeah but dude i i just felt like i had to share that because dude i never had that happen she's got this like fucking uh, it's like this see-through clear scale and like you dude you can't even like you can't even you almost can't see it <laughs> and it's it, dude, and I, it hit my fucking the heel of my foot, and <laughs> it was not good, dude. That's fucking great, dude. Oh my god. Well, anyway. uh, I guess you allu- you alluded to it, and uh, guys, I am going to be continuing my education. Um, I uh, I got my degree, but now I'm deciding that that's kind of worthless now today. Uh, so I'm going to get a real degree from an accredited university, Andrew Tate's Hustler University 2.0. Um, I am going to do this as an experiment for the podcast. I also like just really hate like cleaning up after myself and really like respecting my girlfriend. So, oh, sorry. Did I say 2.0? I meant 3.0. Um, so I just want to, you know, like I, I just want to know how to be super fucking tight and drive Bugattis and like fuck like a thousand chicks and you know learn all the methods from the cobra tate um so here, well let's see what it says you, I, I so meet andrew tate i've got nothing to i've gotten i've gone from nothing to an ultra high net worth individual who has built a multi-million dollar empire his current mission well my current mission as andrew tate is to gather individuals who realize that the system is designed to keep you poor for the rest of your life, which clearly Jack is, we're not playing that. So this no, is why I've no. built this. I want to be his top G. Yeah. And I mean, you're already well on your way. This is why I've built this community called hustler university 3.0, where Jack will be learning about ever about becoming everything about becoming rich and escaping the system. The every, he often calls it, he often grind. calls it the matrix. And he talks about everybody being a simp. And just taking everything on in life on the chin. So I'm trying to break the matrix, dude. I'm trying to be top G, make hundreds of thousands of dollars via this podcast, take you guys all up with me. We can all be top G's together. And then like once I teach you guys my my tricks, you guys can start paying me like eighty seven ninety nine a month to be, you know, in my university. That's well, the yeah, goal. especially I mean eighty seven dollars to make ten to a hundred ten. I mean anywhere between between ten, i mean he, okay this, jesus christ oh tank oh, this no. is per month okay i was gonna say boy if this is per year he's really giving you a window like you may make 10k a year you may make 500 no 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 no. You, <laughs> he's not even promising that you know he's saying he's gathered a team of professors that make that much money that's not promising oh. me that money See, well he so you just get he, this knowledge i get the knowledge so i can learn how to make one hundred twenty thousand dollars a month 18 or, wealth or creation you. methods yeah, this is sick. So, like, NFTs. Do you get anything so, sick to just joining? What do you get to just join? Like, do you get like a fucking packet or t-shirt? something? Well, do I? I mean, I get Look access like? to I get access to all the the course material. Of course, I'm gonna have to study up. I, gosh, it's you know, it's kind of daunting. Uh, do the graduates of 2.0 feel ripped off? 
No, because they have access to the 3.0 lifetime, dude. Get the hell out. You think Tate would fuck his top G's over like that, dude? He's not. He's no scammer. He's legit, dude. So do you get like so? Do you get tickets to Firefest with this? I mean, I don't know. know. You create I mean, your own Firefest. Yeah, I guess you're right. You're fucking. Yeah, Can we dude, watch you, this. You're you're thinking you're thinking too inside the box. It's promotional material, of course. Yeah, we should be able to watch this. I want. All right. Well, let's not. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just let this roll then. How long is this? Let's not. Let's not. Depending on how long this is, we'll, let's watch. <laughs> I'm not even sure this website's gonna work with the video. Dude, dude. is this a fake website? <laughs> no, it's because it's because so many people website. are trying to become top G that's crashing the website, dude. <laughs> it's a website about becoming a G, not a web developer. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck, give, yeah. Yeah. We're out here making give money. A, yeah, dude. Give him a fucking break, dude. We're not here. We're, yeah, we're not here for videos. Don't watch the video. Just trust them. Yeah, dude. We're, you don't need. Yeah, that's actually the point. There is no video. The the video is there is no video. Aren't you tired you of just, being lied to? Real G's don't get lied to. God they go, damn, you know why you're they getting go, lied to? They go, they go, that video G. was the last time you ever get lied to. Yeah. Right now, this, <laughs> this is your last day as a fucking square. Okay. <laughs> that was me reminding you that I'm boss. <laughs> and everything after today, this is that was it. It's over. Okay, so maybe would, you're not getting a video. It would be awesome if you, you like if you just paid the membership fee and all it was was a video NFTs. of Andrew of Andrew Tate. <laughs> yeah, fucking right, dude. We can make our pop culture rehab NFT, the one that we're gonna release on FTX. <laughs> okay, so marketing. so here, so for people who are listening, or yeah, just listening, what can you learn? So Stuart about two minutes ago <laughs> said, 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 said NFTs because I mean where do you, how do you start a pyramid skin scheme nowadays? <laughs> NFTs uh, 4.0. Yeah, so so you get NFTs, investing in real estate, Amazon, FBA, and e-com, which I I assume is e commercial. E commerce. E commerce. Okay. Filled by Amazon, FBA. Okay. E commerce. So, yeah. So, there you go. So, affiliate marketing, freelancing, and copying, and fundamentals with the question mark. So, I think he's kind of just leaving that one open. Um, But this is the perfect place to begin and is exactly where you are right now. So, it's. I'm excited. Oh, another video. Hold on. Hold on. Take two. We didn't even get the first one. Is this one going to Yeah, but that, this is the hopes. real one. This is, is this the real one. Maybe you have to pay first. Maybe it's behind the paywall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just says you thought you got something for free, pussy. There Dude, you know, it would be yeah. awesome if you it would be awesome if you paid the eighty seven ninety nine a month subscription and all it was was a video of Andrew Tate just burning like eighty eight bucks and being like, "You're a fucking loser. I don't need your fucking money." It's just to him banging some chick. <laughs> it's something it's just, you're never gonna do. Yeah, dude, yeah. <laughs> you fucking loser. I have your money forever. You fucking loser. You know how I got kill yourself. <laughs> By reading books, <laughs> <laughs> by fucking by putting fake videos on my inter- oh, my fucking website. Yeah, no, that's hilarious. And like you have, you get to the you get to where you have to pay, and you have to pay three months up front. Like it's like it's like you have oh, to yeah, subscribe dude. for minimum three months, so wow. you just get three separate videos, three separate chicks of him telling you dude, that you're a fucking so loser. You can secure your spot for forty nine dollars, and the price will increase to ninety nine after one hundred and fifteen thousand people have purchased it. So, dude, so I clearly think it's, it's already nine nine. Time is a, because... time is of the essence, bro. <laughs> no you, but do you really think there is 115,000 G's? Oh, I think there's 110,000 current students, dude. And then the price is going to increase in about 5,000. So by the time this podcast is out, refresh you know, the page and see if that you're number gonna have, changes. You're going to you're gonna have to rush. I'm still just shocked that 100, you know, over 100,000 people paid oh, this man. Oh, fuck dude, shit. Refresh the page and see if that number changes. Yeah, let's yeah, can we do that? Yeah, let's do that. And so Jack, have you signed up yet? negative so i have not yet i i can do it now i can do it right now i mean might as well should we do slow it slow day at hustlers university well yeah i mean i don't need we let's just see just to see, just, just, just to see if it updates the thing yeah are you are you gonna I'll do it. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. dude well yeah so that's gonna be so so we'll yeah sign up after this and we'll update we'll go so let's remember that number because I do want to know or I I want to know if that number goes up like I want I want to know what number entry you are into this because you better get like a fucking like when you join like a five k or something you better get like a like I am number one hundred and ten thousand five hundred and seven. 
Dude, these, yeah, look these at this numbers guy. that people are showing. It's like this guy made two hundred nine dollars. One guy made one hundred sixty dollars. <laughs> this guy spent forty nine. This guy. <laughs> None of these people are making big money. <laughs> this guy made one hundred thirty four dollars. It's but he spent. But he spent forty nine. He he learned how to make one hundred sixty dollars video editing. So that's pretty cool. Profit is shit. Dude, fucking titties. That's actually super sick. Dude, what when what when, what's gonna happen when like all the jobs on Fiverr are just done by fucking Andrew Tate bros that are just like fucking yeah. like what's gonna happen, you, bro? Like what's like you what's gonna happen when you're too good for us? Like what happens when you're a top G and Stuart and I and are just fucking like bottom G? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll find bitches. No, guys, I, like I said, I'm gonna elevate you guys. We're all gonna be top. We're all in this together. I'm, I'm gonna. Is it one I'm of those things where you can out. just like, can you just like hold your hand on my forehead and like pass me the knowledge, or is this something? Like, are you gonna? Is this something where like, are we gonna be skyping a couple times a week? He's gonna put us. Dude, through the you're course? gonna have to watch. Just go to YouTube Shorts and just start watching Andrew Tate clips for like hours on. We end. just have to. We they, have to they're watch at, forty. Okay, so the real reason we we we, we thought about doing this because. I like somehow was like watching the videos because he was like on Tom Segura's podcast and I was laughing my ass off at some of the shit that was just coming out of this dude's mouth. Like whether he's being like ironic or whether he's, you know, like some of it's just like funny in terms of like from a comedic aspect. So I was just like, dude, let's just fuck. Like, what is this dude on? He's like canceled from everything now. He's not like, I think he just got his Twitter back because elon gave it to him but before then he was off of twitter he was uh, he was banned from instagram and shit like is he like Stu? you probably know more than i do even what, what was the big reason for him getting like canceled was that because of like chauvinistic shit or was it because of like something else that i don't i'm not aware of no it's just the chauvinistic shit okay there was just so yeah. much public pressure on them to do something right that yeah, makes sense Check, yeah, I'm yeah, nervous. Yeah, yeah, I respect the ladies. I respect the ladies. Check, I'm nervous, dude. I, I, I'm afraid like you're gonna dip your toe in, and then like you might see something like in the bottom of the pool that's shiny, and then you, you reach for it, you fall in, and then we never get you back, boy. <laughs> dude, I just come back next week and my hair's like this. Like I'm just dude, like, look, dude, the bangs, ha- the bangs hanging out. I'm top already G, got my head. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was like, did he already like, start reading this shit? <laughs> I was like, fuck you, dude. You're not going there. You went there. I'm sorry. <laughs> dude, and, and, and for us to elevate, we just have to watch 40 hours of Jack fucking. <laughs> <laughs> like, we just, like, that's all our courses are. Jack, we just have to watch Jack fuck. <laughs> it's like hours. <laughs> Hour two, I hit it from this side. <laughs> watch and oh, learn. Watch and he's learn. like, he's like, he's like, make, make, make no mistake about it. I'm giving her a break. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna flip our hair together. Oh shit, dude! Oh, I'm crying. Man. Yeah, I have like, I have the shout water. Out out FTX. <laughs> yeah, shout out FTX. Shout out FTX. Shout out FTX, baby. Oh shit! Dude. You should probably delete that. Shit. Yeah, so I like. I like how it says. Now. It says great entry. Like he made. Like he made a good purchase at a time. It's like he got none of his money back. It was on FTX. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> like what are you talking about? <laughs> great entry. Shit exit. Yeah, horrible exit. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Well, good shit. Well, I. I'm ex- How long is this? How long of a program is this? It's for life. <laughs> it's a lifelong education, bro. I just keep paying yeah, monthly. I... I keep I keep paying monthly until my bank account fucking is dry. Until yeah, yeah, you're just broke as fuck. fuck you're just yeah. an Andrew Tate simp. I'm, dude. I'm, I'm, a bro- I'm a bro key. But I know everything there is to know about <laughs> copywriting. <laughs> like what? So, but how long does like the so honestly the so if we're doing week by week if we're going to be getting updates like when do we know you're finished? When will uh, the people out there know it's you, that we've reached full hey, G we'll status? I won't tell anyone. I, it's like it's like winning the lottery. I won't tell anyone, but there will be signs. We'll log in one day. Right. And we'll just know. There'll be yeah, yeah, so you guys. Will, you guys will know exactly. Well, yeah. Well, hopefully <laughs> <laughs> we're trying for the people. Dude, what if who I got all this for five, dude, dog? We have picked five, five. We have pl- tried to play five videos on the Andrew Tate 
uh, website, and we're over five. We have not gotten a single one to play. So he is just basically as a broken ass website with old old hype pictures because one of them is a buy into FTX, which if you've listened to, you know, past no. banger pop culture rehabs, you would know that FTX is pretty much not a That's goddamn old. thing. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much collapsed. That's Look, why none Bang of his Bros. classes are on JavaScript. Okay? Yeah, that's why Bang Bros are going to get a fucking arena, and <laughs> it's we hope. Dude, this is titties though. So I mean, good shit. So can yeah, I guess who can you click who is Andrew Tate? I want to give a good a good his from the from his own mouth. He's a one. Andrew Tate is a one of a kind individual. If you know, you know. See his Instagram, read his Twitter feed, watch his Which podcast. You can't do there. either of anymore. <laughs> Above all, make up your own mind. We don't need to sell you on this because there is only one Andrew Tate. Called. Andrew, Andrew Tate. It says, see his Instagram? No. Can't Wait, anymore. Read his Twitter? Pro- no. Who are the professors? Oh, you don't even get Expert one. Expert sovereign individuals. Well, okay. Yeah, so, sovereign yeah. citizens? Yeah, so, that's what that I'm that saying. Mean? Yeah, like you're sovereign, like like as in what? Like you make up your own single man nation state. You're Here's what's really important. What if I don't like it? This is just a too bad back. pussy. There is no contract and no risk. You can cancel your membership at any time after one month is up. And that's it. There's no risk to you. Okay, well that doesn't. You still really least, risk losing that forty nine yeah, bucks. What do I? Enough. Yeah, what do I get though for you? Give me some shit I don't like. Dude, just just trust the top G. Go through the process. Yeah, you you're know. right. Well, that's uh, yeah. I guess as as we as episodes keep we keep churning out fucking episodes, and uh, you guys will you guys will just have to watch how dickheadish Jack becomes over these weeks. And and I'm gonna see I'm gonna see if the the top G's inner circle can get us connected with some podcast you know people and get this thing really pumping up. Maybe that maybe that's we go on we other just, G's. Podcast. Maybe we just didn't expand our network. Yeah. You know, if maybe we, we need top, to. Dude, if we got the top G on this podcast, you know how fucking big that shit would blow up. Yeah, dude. We yeah, that'd be pretty sick. I mean, our episode probably couldn't come out on like any of our platforms, but like it, we would post it somewhere, and like it would probably true, be so, true social yeah, would probably yeah. post it, dude. As soon as those people found out that it was like that, the left, that the snowflakes tried to ban it, do them that running numbers. Good Hell shit yeah. though. Well, I'm glad that at least one of us is gonna get pussy and and uh, <laughs> and be a and be and, and, and be a man in this world. Um, Dude, the rest of us are just gonna have to die poor. Yeah, we're just gonna have to die broke. Which uh, or or yeah, that that's that, there's that's Stuart Jack. and I down there. Uh, yep. Jack's Jack's yep. KD. Stuart and I are this sad fuck down here. Um. <laughs> Or, you know what else I can do? I sent a picture. Uh, I don't know if this is accurate, uh, but I sent this picture to uh, Pepper right before we got on here, and I might have found an alternative to – we might not need – I mean, we want top G training. Don't get me wrong. But if I fail, I have a backup plan, and that is to be GM of a Bucky's because apparently – apparently, great. I'm not – say that a little louder for people in the back, Stuart, because – these they motherfuckers great uh front mean, office can we can we pull this bus, bitch up bussies no yeah, dude bussies <laughs> bro and here's the thing though people are so pr- look at this i don't know if this is real that's real i mean it looks real but i'm one who is it? have you ever, have you guys ever been to one of uh, bucky's yes we're echoing yeah bad. bucky's are great Hundred fifty thousand to 225 a year yeah. No, they 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 take good care of their people, and all their products like house brand stuff, so it's all profit. Two hundred, dude. You can great. be the car wash manager and make a hundred and twenty five. That's what I want to do. Right. Let me be car wash manager. Like seriously, <laughs> hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year. Fuck you. I'm not. I don't need to be general manager. I don't need to be food service man. Food, fuck food service manager. I mean, all food service managers should get one hundred twenty five thousand dollars a year just for dealing with bullshit. But because the food industry is the worst industry, like I, I would, I would sell my ass before I worked <laughs> in the restaurant again. Um, They're opening a Bucky's in Springfield, Missouri. I just like last week, I told my wife to apply. 
I've fucking I've been to them though, so they're fucking sick as fuck. So there's Whoa, one dude, northern that, beaver there's one bites northern... or beaver nuggets are the shit. And people there's are so one... proud. They slap bumper stickers on their car. They wear shirts. Like they're you know we get what we got wall. There's a Wally's now in Fenton. Uh, like right by my day. De- Wally's is basically like a Bucky's. It's like a huge oh. gas. It's got like eighty gas pumps. It's fucking just. I mean, it's huge. It's 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 one of those things where right. you walk in and it's got red little like food stuff in there. I mean, it's like a one stop everything. And they just put one um, kind of like where Chrysler used to be, uh, or where they were gonna put yeah. So it's like it's huge. Um, but you don't see nobody around here with Wally fucking bumper stickers. Okay, nobody gives a fuck about Wally. They care about the goddamn beaver. No, Texans love them some fucking Buckies. It's well, a, I think the front a... office said Texas before we got on here. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's where they Texas. started, if I'm not mistaken. That, yep. was, that was the first Buckies. What, uh, what kind yeah. of ben, what kind of bennies that you think they got? They got 401k. I see that healthcare. You think they could like let you like fucking use the glory hole like mid shift? Well, here's the, the best. Here's the something you don't get. Immaculate. Here's something you don't get anymore. Where, is our front office on? I feel like when he's unmuted, is when we're echoing. Um, because are are, am I the only on one here in the echo? Yeah, you are. No, I, I, I hear it. I hear it. Damn. Okay. Damn. I hear it. Anyway, this is something you don't get for most most places. Use for your PTO. You can cash it or roll it. Like most places, you use it. You or know, lose or it. you or lose it. You know, yeah, and not like and me. and you only get to cash it in some places if you quit or like you know they'll let you cash it out or give it to you. But very little places will do that nowadays. They'll just take. You can't it do either. There. Yeah, so it's like you're you're fucking just. I mean, they're literally just. I mean, come on, two dollars yeah. over hour for overnight, and I'd want to work the overnight at the Bucky's, dude. Let me work the fucking Bucky's overnight. You know what I'll you got to do? Beef jerky. Yeah, $2 I'll check out the more an stoners hour. and the drunks, dude. That's fine. I'll do that. I don't know, dude. I bet Bucky's is probably pretty like pop. Be, there's got to be a catch where it's like, oh, like they don't like gays and they don't like. Bucky's. That is the catch, dude. They're very Christian. Is are it? they? Yeah, well, they're from Texas, so fuck, yeah, probably. No, they are. Yeah, they sell damn fuck like custom made like brisket sandwiches. Hey, Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A makes good sandwiches, boys. Just sometimes it's just how the world works. Yeah. Hey, look, Tim Dillon um who I don't know how you feel about Tim Dillon or you know, but he had he had a uh, a joke in his last in his little Netflix special talking about that where he's like I don't give a fuck. He goes, "You can be denying the Holocaust as I pull up to grab my food and I will just grab my food and pull <laughs> off." You know what I'm saying? Like I don't give a fuck. Like Adidas I didn't ne- feel that way. Yeah, never in a million years do I <laughs> never do I pull up to fast food restaurants and think I have I I hope I can relate to the person taking my meal. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I don't give a fuck what you feel. I don't give a fuck if you take my my $8 meal money and throw it at fucking Ghana, you know, you know, or like some genocide somewhere. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, like it, it, it sucks. I, I wish you wouldn't do that. But like, you know, quit making goddamn good chicken nuggets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> quit making, quit giving me good waffle fries. Quit having. What is in that tea. sauce? What is? Uh, you're. It's the only place. Here's one thing. I quit. You got Polynesian sauce and Chick Fil A sauce in a bottle. Never been to Polynesia. I've never been to Polynesia in my life. Uh, never, never even. I don't even eat Polynesian sauce. Put the goddamn uh, sriracha. The, the there's like a sweet and spicy sriracha sauce they have. Put that yeah. in a fucking bottle. Because I'm getting real fucking sick of of living this little packet life. Yeah, I'm hoarding fucking packets, and I don't <laughs> want to do that anymore. And then you and get every- embarrassed when you ask them how many sauces you actually want. They're like, okay, and how many sauces? And you're like. Five, six. Oh no! I look, I look seven, right in the eight. eyes. I say, "Do it for God." This is why you went to PCR. This is why you went to fucking. Uh, is it PCR? Growing up, or right, what? What is that shit they take on Monday? Monday. Uh, PSR. Oh, PSR. PSR. I was like, this is why. This is why you went to PCR. Yeah, PCR. Yeah, PSR. See, I never did that shit. Um, <laughs> but but uh, like, this is why you. Kid. This is why you took classes, pussy. Give me extra sauce, for God. What? I would add, I would just go to them and ask them be like what's the what's the biggest number you've ever written in the sauce number and they're like ten you're like double it yeah. <laughs> how much sauce would you like in your bag <laughs> you say yes yes yeah and then I fucking go fucking 
Satan rules on the way, you know. Like, other, <laughs> way, other fast food places. <laughs> you you burn you do a burnout every time on Chick Fil A. <laughs> I stop by every day to get the free water just so that they lose money. Just so, yeah, sir, can you please turn down the Motley Crue so I can take your order? <laughs> yeah, dude, hail Satan. Could you please turn Vince Neil down so I can hear what you have to order? No. <laughs> it, it, you know, they just know you every fucking day. They're like, it'll be 1422, sir. Come to the next window. You're like, oh. and after, and I just pull up. I'm, I'm like, I'm not pulling forward until you call me Dr. Feel Good. <laughs> <laughs> I am not oh leaving God. this fucking drive through until you call me Dr. Feel Good every day. Oh you better say it on my receipt. You know what I'm saying? Like I, when I pull up, when you when you hear when you hear that fucking Mick Mars riff coming down the street, you better fucking you you better get Doctor Feelgood shit ready because because Daddy's here. If okay? I have to come in there and ask for more sauces, you guys are not going to be. If happy. I have to leave my fucking 1975 Thunderbird to go, to come inside, <laughs> there's someone's paying. Okay. Yeah, dude, you know so. that Chick Fil A manager's just looking back at you. Yeah, dude, and, and, and it's funny because the Chick Fil A manager look, that's a female at Chick Fil A. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the bitch that's been making the pies since like yeah, 1980. Dude, oh, yeah. <laughs> she, she has a hairnet on, and she's still got that her her the, her old hairnet from back when she was like a, a a cafeteria lady at the fucking elementary school. Dude, I wouldn't try that nowadays though, because like I I saw that story about somebody who was trying to rob somebody in the Chick Fil A parking lot, and like three of the employees just came out I and started whooping the dude's the ass out of them. Yeah, I saw yeah. that. They could put him in a chokehold. Yeah, they like that fucking the dude new po- jujitsu. That guy was like, oh yeah, bitch, like fucking tri- triangled him or some shit. Shadow realm, straight baby. Up. Yeah, dude. Bro, straight up. I would. I, I not. We should. I. I wish we would have thought of this. We. I wish we had that video ready to go. Bro, did, could you imagine getting your ass beat by Chick Fil A workers? Oh, dude, he'd be like, I got the devil, I got the power of God and anime on my side and just fucking whop you right in the fucking head. Is that the same thing as going to confessional? Like, are you, absor- like, are you good? Are you clean after that? I don't think yeah. anybody can get arrested. Like, that's, that's justice right there. You get your I'm ass saying, beat by yeah. Chick-fil-A dudes. Like, you don't, you don't go to jail after that. Your slate's clean. That's dogma, baby. That's yeah. dogma, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody like, get out of here, pussy. Yeah. <laughs> like, get up and leave. A Chick Fil A right. worker can act as a as a priest in emergency circumstances. Yeah, look at this guy. Look at this shit. Hell I'm pretty yeah. sure he puts him in like a, a triangle or something. Oh no, he puts him in a fucking reflective vest, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He even flattens him out. Look at these ladies. She's running with this her hands so to her side like this. Where is this guy? Be Florida, right? Yeah, Fort Walton uh, Beach. This guy was. Yeah. This guy was working. <laughs> I was like, this guy be Florida, through. right? <laughs> Surely. <laughs> Surely, this is Florida, right? A brave young employee at Florida Chick Fil A. Oh, this is a carjacking. A... Guy hopped oh, out of a sick. Hummer to fight. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't find oh, the, the other one, so I figured that this would do. Well, no, this is it, and that's how you know he's a savage. He was standing outside in Florida heat because you only wear those safety jackets when you're one of them peasants that stand in there and take outdoor orders. So he with was standing tablet, out yeah. there with a tabby, a little with a little tabby, and he said, "Not fucking today." He said, "This he is threw why. that tablet down like Tom Brady and said, get yeah. the fuck.'" Dude, the over lady here. had a yeah. baby in the car. Went no went to his manager and said, "Fucking, I dare you to put. I dare you to say something about the tablet." Luckily, he didn't choke out the baby too. Dude, he I probably mean, went adrenaline. To, he yeah, probably went dude. to his general. He probably went to his general manager with an offer sheet from fucking Bucky's and been like, "Dude, these guys are willing to fucking pay me two hundred fifty grand for security the GM of this front, bitch." <laughs> like, they want me to be front door secure. They're one hundred twenty years just to be fucking. Ar- I, I'm not even armed. I, I have two hands. <laughs> I have two two fucking weapons Lethal right weapons. here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, that's sick. Yeah, well, fucking shout out to all you Jesus companies out there because you're all fucking terrible people, but you guys pump out some of the fireest shit, whether it's fucking chicken little chicky sandwiches br- fucking gas station briskies hobby lobby hobby fucking hobby lobby hates the gays dude half of and my wedding can... was hobby lobby and i'm not i'm not fucking proud dude shan is about a, a i mean her middle name might as well be freedom fighter you know what i'm saying and and she's and, and <laughs> she, she shops at fucking uh hobby lobby like it's going out of style and, and i'm just like you know you just close your eyes when you're you know when you when you're when you're when they ask you and they're like, would you like to round up? You're like, no, you're like, no, I don't want to round up here. So one place I'm not going to round up. Just give me my shit. We'll, 
and tell nobody I was here. But yeah, I forgot Hobby Lobby's hated the gays. That's right. Is there any other notable ones before you move on from this? Because I don't want to leave any out. I don't want to. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh, well, so we had Chick Fil A. In and out. Oh, I forgot about In and Out. Yeah, on the inside of their cup, there's a Bible passage. No shit. Yeah, if you look at the very bottom of their cup, the um, under rim, it's like uh, a pat. Uh, it's the the scripture, so you have to like look it up. But it does they, they, they pour holy water down the straw before they hand you the drink too. They just dip the straw both ends so you can't get away with it. They're like, yeah, it doesn't matter what end you put in your soda, you're getting a little a little on your lips. Um, oh. and before before we go down this list, uh, In and Out is good. It's really good, but overrated. here's you know it's overrated. You know it's better than that. I I will take fucking and uh, front office might be the only one that's eating this, but I would take Varsity over In and Out any day of the week. Damn what right. The fuck is this no Varsity? Doubt. Thank you, sir. It's in Atlanta. It's uh, it's like a Sonic kind of, but it's like chili. Everything's got chili on it, but it's so fun, dude. It's it's literally it a like, chain. Uh, There's a couple it's, locations, but it's not really a chain. It's a, I guess you could call it a local chain if, if anything. a regional yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, well, that's yeah. in in and out's regional, isn't it? It's yeah, like but California, I mean, that's Col- like, there's one in Colorado now, and they're like expanding Nevada, California. I mean, yeah, but it's like a West Arizona. Coast thing. It's a West Coast thing, but like not. Varsity it doesn't matter. City. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, var- varsity. It doesn't matter. It's I thought you were gonna say thing. Shake Shack. Yeah. Shake, I'd, I'd take Shake. Shack. I'd take Shake Shack over In and Out. I think Shake Shack's fire when they Do get it, it right. Yeah. I've been there about ten times, and nine times they've gotten my order wrong. So if they could just listen when I talk, we'd be good. Dude, shout um, out Brahms, Missouri, mm. Oklahoma area. Mm. Bro, Brahms, Brahms is good. Brahms, Brahms is, is all right. Shit. It's all right. It's. I mean. Yeah, I don't think it's quite as good as varsity, but the two different like that's totally different, you know. Types if you're of if you're in go. if you're in old oh, spring failed and you don't go through some goddamn drive through Chinese, you're fucking up. Please don't fail me here, guys. What about Red Robin? I fuck with Red Robin I, I like every it, time. But... Thank you. Thank you. Front office Bro, for not failing me. Jesus, I Christ. will fucking I got you, baby. Every time I go there, I still get the Tower of Onion Rings. Every time. Oh, that's just sure. flamo. The two sauces. Oh my god, it's so fucking good. Yeah. Campfire sauce is what it's called. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Campfire Which is just sauce, baby. Ranch with their fry seasoning in it. Yeah, yeah. It's just like Which, fucking. Fuck it. I'll eat it, dude. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, call whatever you want. Give it to me. Bottomless fries. But and you get bottomless fries, and like they know they're not that great, so they just keep bringing you shit like you're not going to be satisfied but you will be full i bet i do fucking the onion rings okay so let's let's get into this 17 companies that are intensely religious All forever right. 21 i see forever 21 which whatever they probably wish it was forever 12 you know yeah, i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> come on that was the layup oh that was good oh fuck dude tyson Tyson Foods based out of Arkansas, dude. The uh yeah. the way that the Wait. way that they handled COVID told me that they were very religious. They put it in God's hands. <laughs> wait, wait, go back. Since 2000, company has employed a product. No, yeah, 120 office chaplains. Oh shit. Oh, fuck oh. Office chaplains. Is that true though? Because uh, I guess they they don't make dinosaur nuggets, I guess. So that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they do make the dinosaur nuggets. Then how they don't that believe work? in evolution. What the, the hell's that? Fuck? Are they pandering? Are they pandering to the fucking devil? Yeah, dude, I think that's so, some dark sided shit. Wow, you need to look into this. dude. Yeah, yeah bro. Like they're that. okay. Fakers, get them off the list. Keep scrolling. Yeah. Get these faking ass <laughs> pussies off my screen. That's more like Keep it. Play. We know there's that. a there's a couple fucking racists right there. Five of yeah. them. <laughs> Good sweet. Founded by though. devout Southern Baptists. Well, no shit. 1946. 1500 look yeah i mean we don't have to read this but yeah, so the girl the girl the first girl who wrote it probably wrote it correctly and then had to scratch it out that's how dumb she is she couldn't even misspell a word correctly yeah dude she's an <laughs> idiot uh, all right good. mary Kay. yeah for for a a pyramid scheme that gets transferred through the church a lot of the time not surprised wait i thought mary Kay was like a jewelry thing now Mary Kay is the, the like the OG period oh, scheme shit. I'm thinking every kiss begins with K. There you go. K jewelers. In and out. There you go. In and out. 
Oh, dude. Oh, Tim's. This is the one that. Yeah. Well, that always killed me because like the. I didn't know this. It's no, so I I did so this is the funniest part like and uh, it's like apparently like super like the it's like a pretty racist background to this <laughs> <laughs> like from what I understand no way but then uh, they got embraced by the hip hop culture for like two years no way scroll what down Kanye a little says bit about that scroll down a little bit have I, have any of you guys ever owned a pair of Timberlands no. Yes. I'm not that cool. Oh, you did? That's sweet. Were they that? Were they like the OG Tims? Uh, I do have a pair of the OG Tims, but uh, are they? I heard they, they're pretty comfortable. Nice I heard they're pretty. Like, aren't they pretty? They, yeah, I was gonna say, don't they make pretty decent shit? Yeah, yeah, they're uh, they're, they're they're pretty nice. Right. So Timber Tims, Alaska Air. I always see people wearing Tims with like completely like unlaced. They kind of do look comfortable. But that's a heavy ass shoe to wear on the lace and boots is such a pain in the ass. Yeah. Alaska Air. Oh, that's not the cool Alaska Air. I like the Alaska Air with like the Inuit dude on the tail. They should they should have one with Sarah Palin on the back. Oh. Marriott Marriott Hotel. Hotel. Yeah, wow. so actually oh, so oh, oh he's I, a devout Mormon. <clears throat> Let's go. Oh no. So I know we moved on, but I was looking into the Timberland thing and yeah. yeah, so it's, so it, so I'm looking at this thing and it's, so Maya Angelou actually wrote, actually wrote Angelou. a poem about it, wrote a poem about it, uh, like, we're like about companies that stuff that like were racist and it, and then the end it says, and for footwear, you wear Timberlands, even under the sun, that same tree, that's the symbol for them could have been the same one your ancestors were hung from, um, dude. Getting name checked in a Maya Angelou poem that's like yeah. Woody Guthrie talk about Donald Trump's grandfather and shit. Like, that's getting fucking dunked. On. Oh, wait, wait, it says this poem is a fact. So, it's so this, so it's the agency confirmed this while the author was still alive. Sitting, if she's oh, so never mind. So, hold on. So, it's just so she's disappointed that somebody's put they're putting it off as a Maya Angelou. So, that's not a Maya Angelou. So, that's where oh. like the root. So, it's a rumor. That's where the rumor comes from is that that the tree is. Um, like some kind of like slave tree, yeah, slave tree type thing. Oof. Um, that's a stretch, isn't it? Unless it's like actually uh, like I know, like every tree is racist. Yeah, I don't <laughs> like, know. Um, there's this big I went, tree. I went to Disney. I went to Disney World. There's a giant. Well, here we go. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it's kind there's of there's more trees than there are black people. In most places. In, in, uh, like yeah like almost every place yeah so yeah but it's kind of like but yeah so i remember because i remember a couple years ago like the, that like i forget who like brought that up like the tree thing and i remember like it was like a small deal for a minute but oh well they didn't get name wow. checked by maya so i remember like fucking buster rhymes wearing tims yeah well that was kind of like the thing they're like all you do all your rappers are wearing timberlands and don't understand type thing you know it was one of those things where wow. everybody's trying to like make them feel like shit so right. question, do you guys think John Marriott started the Marriott Hotel so he could like have a build a place that could house all of his wives and children? <laughs> like probably. And they're like, "Man, we should we should make people pay to stay here." And they're like, "That's a great fucking idea." They would no longer offer pay-per-view porno in their hotel. Well, I'm I'm out. I'm going to fucking Drury Inn. Yeah. Damn, dude. Hilton baby. Dude, what's better than just sitting in a hotel bed? Nobody there. Just oh, crank, I hate staying in hotels, dude. I love I actually, hotels. See, I fucking hate them. I just I cannot stop thinking about the like there's no way that these sheets and stuff are actually that clean. Like there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. I know how I dude, I worked at River City for all those years and like I know how little those people give a fuck about cleaning your room. And that's like a nice hotel. Like the hotel was nice and like uh, sure i mean sure i know that you, you you might get one that cares but you're not getting a crew that cares that's for damn sure you might get one or two that care but there are more on that crew that don't care and my, I, my I just, wife used to be a lead for yeah. housekeeping at uh it was a i think it was a marriott hotel and you're but, and, and every single one was good i know that one was the, the, their, their their bar that they said is pretty hardcore it's probably like no wet spot, no wash. 
It was a know. fair filled in. So that's that's owned by Marriott. Yeah. I refuse to believe that there is a full staff of of My all wife. every one of them was a hundred percent dedicated to fucking cleaning hotel rooms. <laughs> There's just no <laughs> way. Not a fucking chance. Like I said, I uh, at River City, people loved them goddamn hotel rooms. And I'd watch them, I'd watch them go out there and clean a fucking the like the suites that cost thousands. I mean, the suites that I mean, we front office knows about that. He's been in them suites. And, and bro, they would, I mean, we have, I, you know, how many times a week we'd get called to come get like a crack pipe out from underneath somebody's pillow. I'd have to do that because <laughs> I was in fucking security. <laughs> dude, that's so fucking sick. Yeah, I had to do, dude, there, yeah, we, like, there, like, we had people call and like, we would like mo- multiple times that I worked there. We had people call that were like, yeah, uh, I just fucking went, tried to lay down in my bed and found this under my pillow and it was a fucking crack pipe. Multiple times. So what do you guys have to do? What would you have to do with the contraband? (laughs) We bag it up and take it to, well, we have at at casinos, you have um, uh, uh, the fucking gaming commission, which are fucking basically uh, highway patrol. So you just take it to them. They handle it. They destroy it. But yeah, dude, straight up. They they destroy everything you guys find. Dude, there was a bitch that smoked crack there. There was a bitch that smoked crack (laughs) uh, at at River City. (laughs) And that's died. high stakes she, she died she ended up die- she died she she smoked she hit crack and realized she was dying and started like and they found her and she was pr- her, she was like when they found her she was she was laying at the end of her bed like in like a praying that's uh, fucking metal isn't that weird isn't that gnarly dude straight I up love fucking, it. straight up gnarly smoked crack and fucking <laughs> and, and over like straight up overdose and started praying for her. she died like and we had we had to fucking deal with that so i'm just like you know what I'm saying? Like you never get that out of the sheet, Stuart. You know what I'm saying? I don't care how fucking, <laughs> I, don't care, I don't care how fucking dedicated. You never get that memory, dude. You never get that memory, foam mattress, dude. You never. You might wash those sheets a hundred times, but that that dead bitch is in there. You know what I'm saying? Like she is, she is in the area. <laughs> she's in the sheets, dude. She's, she's in the wall. In the, she's, she's in the air the duct. Wall. Every time you go to a hotel room and you turn the temperature down, <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> she's there. Dude, Nick's fucking burning fucking sage in every hotel he goes to, just <laughs> fucking ward off the just, just in honor of her. Just in honor of her, I'm like, just yeah. I, I swear I would have saved you if I was there. I did everything I could. <laughs> you know God, no, I would have saved you. I promise oh, I did everything yeah. I could. I don't want to step on a syringe tonight. I don't want to have yeah. <laughs> please, please. I mean, she couldn't just go outside and smoke crack. Jesus Christ. <laughs> But uh, all right. So anyway, let's go through this list because we have an, uh, we have another list I want to scroll through before we get out. We want to I want to go through some of that uh, top twenty five under twenty five list before we go out. Jet so Blue. we got Jet, I heard Blue. Jet Blue is so good, but I heard that they're they started to take a dip in their quality like as of like recent. Give me but a Stroop waffle like, right, and I'll um, say the flight was good. That's never cool. flown Jet Blue. Oh, Stroop waffle! It's p- pretty nice. But I love uh, a good Stroop waffle. Seen. That's a perfect Dude. snack. Unfortunately, I fly American Airlines, and they give you the, the single biscotto. Oh, Ugh. dude, I'm Southwestern all day, baby. Two Southwest free check is... bags. Let's go. Oh, still? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Not and there's per only... person. There's no first class. You just... <laughs> per person. So that's four check rushing. bags free. My wife likes American. I'm a Delta guy. I want to be part Every of time that. I get in American Airlines, I feel like it's going down. Like you get in there and like you're like it's like really long and narrow, and those like there's still like there's rips in the seats and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you're just like fuck, man. They still have the a- the fucking ashtrays still work. Yeah, <laughs> I never kick. Ca- yeah, they're like they're, I'm like they're like no, sir, you can smoke here. They're like what? Yes, it's American Airlines. They're like, do you and your child want a bourbon? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but so I fuck it. <laughs> like I, I never gave a fuck about what I fly to ever. But Shan, Shan is uh, as pretty. Die, she's a diehard uh, Southwestern. So um, I guess I just won't I've fly Spirit Air. I won't fly Spirit Fuck no. That's like the one I. That's like my or only Frontier. Role. I'm not. I don't fly Spirit or Frontier. Absolutely Frontier used not. to be dope, but then they got they like they went down bad. I love airplane like chaos, like videos. Gas station fights in like airline like emergencies on TikTok. And it's always fucking frontier and it's always spirit. Dude, I need to find that TikTok. I love watching people like fucking freak out on a plane. Like the guy who's like, I want to shake your hand. Oh, I want to shake your hand. (laughs) Like that video is fucking awesome. Oh, God. All right, let's yeah. go on this list. We, we let's, let's, I think we're halfway, only halfway there. Interstate, Interstate Bay. Yeah, we'll kind of, we'll kind of rapid fire these. 
Interstate yeah, batteries. Fuck batteries. Uh, a gun company. Is, cool. Gun company. Or, yeah, no shit. Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. Hey, gays. Service Master Terminix. I mean, duh. George Foreman cooking. My man. Does, that, does that just mean uh, he's he's a Christian? Yeah, so, so as a Christian company, a, that's kind of a wait, stress. He's or a pastor. He, maybe he loves the gays. His, his cooking just doesn't. He's a pastor. Maybe. He has a church. Yeah, no, I know. Look at him, dude. That that's that's a he's a lean, mean fucking machine. Yeah, he's my hero. A, I love George Foreman. Look at this. I don't even know what this is. What is a grocery store chain? Heb. Heb. So uh, there's 90s, a company that shit looks. Do you remember like up at St. Louis where they have uh parades and there's always the giant schnooks? Uh yeah, yeah. So is there a company is... that just makes giant motorized <laughs> shopping carts? Shopping carts. They I want to work that for niche. that company. Yeah, no shit. What do you do? I Curves. You like you like come home from a fucking long day of sales. They're like, "Honey, how how was work today?" You're like, "Fucking another month went by. I didn't sell any huge giant shopping carts." Albertsons dragging their fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna Are you gonna land the Deerberg's account? Yeah, Pig, Piggly Wiggly's hold me over a fucking barrel. <laughs> <laughs> okay curves the gym for fat ladies okay yeah i'm reading sense. about this i don't know what this is so that's a gym for all ladies jack okay but but you can't not not for bitches that want an abortion no it's because they keep their curves <laughs> yep well not the, no, not, anti- not not the baby they, they want you to keep the baby bump yeah they said don't yeah anti-abortion toms of maine what the fuck is that toothpaste they make organic natural shit like toothpaste sick never heard of them never heard that's of it. them Fuck them. Oh, that's it? Cool. Yep. Good. We ended up one that nobody cares about. There aren't that many racist companies, and some of them we already knew about. We already knew about. They're not racist. They're just Christian. Yeah, they're just Christian. They're just a little behind. Some yeah. of them are more no. some are Mormons, which I hardly even don't even consider them Christian. Uh, some people call Christianity an extra chromosome. Um, anyway, uh, so <laughs> so another list we want to oh, another fuck. list we want to fucking go over. <laughs> oh fuck, dude. I'm going to hell. Um, wait, why can't we? Yeah. So the front office, uh, yeah, we can show the list, dude. Fuck that. We're so front office has got questions, but I've got answers, and the answer is yes. So we're gonna um, we're gonna show ESPN just put out an article. Uh, best twenty five. So it's so a players under twenty five. The best twenty five players under the age of twenty five. So I, I assume this was GMs, I guess, that voted on this. Um, oh, okay. It is it drafting other players. So when asked NFL and NFL draft analysts, Matt Bohm, Matt Miller, and Jordan Reed to work together to compile a list. So it was these three NFL and NFL draft analysts okay. that put together this list to qualify players needed to be 24 years old or younger on November 29th of 2022. So as of today, they had to be 24 years of young or younger. Okay. Uh, this will come out on the 30th. So, you, you know, record this on the 29th for people who are listening and watching uh, who tops the list. Up. Yeah, let's go bottom up. So who tops the list was easy. Uh, okay. We're not going to get into that. But anyway, so yeah, so, so it's three guys, Matt Bowden, Matt Bowen, Matt Miller, and Jordan Reed. Okay. So let's start at 25. Okay. And we'll, and we'll kind of speed this up because we're already at an hour, oh, a little over an hour. Or so number 25. Answer, yeah. So coming in, so I, let's do honorable mentions. So let's just rabbit for so Jedrick Wills. Get that shit out of here. I don't even want to hear it. Fuck Jedrick Wills, dude. Bum. He he is. I, I Tr- Tristan Wirth should be a Cleveland Brown, and it hurts my soul. Um, try a little harder, Jedrick, please. Trevor Lawrence. I can see it. Um, who else we got on there? Javon Holland, Creed Humphrey, Tariq Woolen, T, T Higgins. Maybe. Yeah, T's my man. I can't believe Devin. What, how old is Devin White? Like older than 24 or something? I feel like Devin White's been around for a he minute. Had, he had a bad year, or he had a down year last year. He but I guess when they won the Super Bowl, he was a rookie, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. All right. So Derek Brown, uh, is there any other honorable mentions? My boy, okay, Tell Noah yeah. Hafanga. Yeah, he's a stud and uh, Vera Tucker. Cade okay. York got fucking we, stub from the list. Who should have got recognition? I'm not saying Brown. Is he not on this fucking list? They probably need to see like another year of that kind of productivity. Travis Etienne. Yeah, he's been okay. injured. Right. He's been injured Devin a lot. Twenty four. Yeah, just okay. like Travis Etienne. Like he's just been injured. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go back up then. Okay. So twenty five. We had uh, Antoine Winfield Jr. Stud. Absolutely. 
absolute stud. I actually drafted him in sleeper. Um, I wish I would not have cut him. Uh, now he's on a little Peppers kind of team. Low, I think he's been he's been a little banged up this year. Maybe that's why. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe. So Anton went uh, safety for the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers. T- coming in at 24, uh, the most uh, wrongly I guess, uh, underutilized players. Dude, Kyle Pitts is a savage. If they could just learn how to use him. I, I that know, man but that's, what everybody keep, that's what everybody keeps saying, though. Like, I and mean, he hasn't I know had he a had, good quarterback. Yeah, no, he just, I know. I was just – hear that. I, and a lot game. of fantasy owners have been disappointed with him this year, obviously. So Okay, I yeah, mean, from a fantasy standpoint, he has been dog shit for sure. Right. But as far as like that's all NFL, that's all I'm really saying. Yeah, I'm, but for yeah. his NFL players, this guy is a stud. I mean, he, and he gets double open. covered a lot, it's, and, and even then he's open. And like you see him, you'll watch him streaking down the field wide. I mean, he runs like a fucking wide receiver. Do you, Do you think he's the MCL is going to limit his high end ability though? That, I mean, I, that's a that's I, a that's an injury that he might not come back for like twelve months from. Possibly, yeah. I mean, we'll see. I mean, but I, I think that when he comes back, I would, I think that that other kid, uh, who the fuck is that kid they drafted? Ritter, Desmond Ritter. Yeah, not yeah, Desmond Ritter. I mean, I don't know if he's the answer or not, but I, do, I definitely don't think Marcus Mariota is throwing him the ball by the time he comes back. So probably, kid, yeah, he, probably he's, right. he's twenty two years old. Um, you know, I mean, as good as he was last year, you know, sure, like I said, he's definitely had a regression, but he, he also doesn't have a pass happy guy like. You know Matt Ryan yeah. anymore. And he did. He had like right. one. Pe- he had one touchdown catch last year too. And I don't think he has right. any this year. Yeah, I don't or think maybe. he. Yeah, he may two. have one. He has two. He has, he has two. It says okay. All right, so twenty. So moving on. So that was tight ends. Kyle Pitts tight end for the Atlanta Falcons uh, at twenty three. We got Christian Darrisaw, uh, OT offensive t- tackle for the Minnesota Vikings. Sure. Uh, I actually don't know too much about this guy, so I recognize um, his name. So that's something. Yeah. So good shit. I'm glad in Minnesota. There are. Yeah, Minnesota is, you know, they're good this year. They're, and that O-line has been playing pretty, pretty fucking well. So as long as they play at noon. As long as they play at noon. Yeah. As long as you can get big dick Kirk Cousins in there. Fucking do you <laughs> like that? Uh so Penny Sewell, Savage. Stud. Stud. Or this is far too high for him. At 22, I feel like he should be down the A team. little more. Maybe I'm just I haven't seen the list, so I, I don't know. But I mean, yeah, some of this the names guy could have been left off this list. This name, this list. This guy could have been off. blocking for Joe Burrow, but they took Jamar Chase. What do you guys think? You think if they could do it over again, they'd probably do it the same way? Yeah, uh, Jamar Chase yeah. is the world beater. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so too. I was just, I always think about that because that was always like him and the T big, Higgins, like because that's what everybody in that draft was saying for Joe Burrow. It's like God, they got to get him some protection because that was after he had tore his ACL, you know. And then right. Penny Suell was on the fucking uh, board when the Bengals drafted and they famously passed him up. So I don't know. It's always it's weird to lump guys in together because of their draft. But that, those two, to me, will always be kind of intertwined for that reason, at least in my mind. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, yeah, I mean, what definitely would have helped them out. But uh, Jamar Chase is special. So. Yeah. And I'm sure he's on, I know he's on this list somewhere. So oh, anyway, absolutely. um, so, so if we go around 22, so Panay Sewell from uh, offensive tackle for the Detroit lions, AKA the mad Dan Campbell's at 21, we've got Justin motherfucking fields, uh, QB for the bears a little banged up right now, but I mean, the dude has been fucking, I mean, as far as rushing the ball and just being keeping you on your toes, the guy, I mean, he's ridiculous. One of the I mean, most get, fun players to watch this season. Yeah, I mean, he's not winning, he's, but he's fun. He's also one of the most frustrating players that, in the sense that, like, you know, he's good, but the team around him just is so fucking bad that, like, it's it's frustrating to watch him in that sense. It's nothing he's doing wrong and nothing that, like, about his style of play, but it's just like there's so many times where he passes the ball and should be extending the drive, but it hits the guy square in the helmet and goes through his hands or does something stupid you know and it's just i i, I want to see more of justin fields before i kind of make my consensus but from what he's shown when he's like had the good looks and the good you know play around him he's looked like a really good quarterback and it's crazy to think what he was the fourth quarterback drafted in that draft class so yeah, uh he's a guy trevor that... behind, behind trevor uh with zach wilson then uh I, or no, he went be or then Trey Lance, then it went Justin Fields and Mac Jones. So, yeah, he's he's looking like maybe one of the better quarterback. I mean, he's definitely better than Zach Wilson, and I'd argue he's better than Trey Lance, but we haven't really seen much of Trey Lance. So, 
Yeah, I think if he he's another guy that I think you get him you get him a an O line, you might see something out of him. I mean, you know, I like Mooney. I love Darnell Mooney. I like, you know, Chase Claypool's not great, but I, he's a good secondary guy. Cole Komet's nice. You got two good running backs, you know. If they can just get some protection where he's not running for his life all the time. For sure. Right. He'd be. Anyway, so 21, Justin Fields, quarterback for the Bears. Uh, moving on there, 20. We got my man, Sauce Gardner. Too low. Too fucking Dude, low. Yeah, this guy is cornerback for the Jets. He's this guy, he's he's a savage. I mean, the, the guy is top. He has the top coolest tier. name, too. Cool, cool name. And I say this every time we talk about him, and I never get a reply because I don't think anybody's had it, but like his goddamn sauce at Buffalo Wild Wings is so fucking good. Um, I actually tried it two, two weeks ago. It's so good. It's 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 pretty damn good. What is the base for? What's the base for the hot for the sauce? What is like spicy? It's like a what is it, like a honey spice yeah, kind of like I forget what, what it was like, like party beef like popeye chili sauce. Peppers. Yeah, I'm not jinxing. I'll give you the exact because dude, it's so fire. Like I remember, I got it like right when it came out. Sauce Gardner sauce. Dude, when you have a sauce, you made it. Can we have a pop culture rehab sauce? Bend over. Yeah, but it's a buffalo garden sauce. Okay. I tried. <laughs> I, I'll give you my pop culture rehab sauce. Was the joke, but okay, yeah, uh, a little slow to that, that one. <laughs> uh, sorry, and I'm over here looking at fucking. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is. So it's the new sauce is a spice is a smoky, sweet, and spicy barbecue sauce, which intercepts your taste buds and takes <clears> it to the house on your favorite wings back. and sandwiches. Dude, I <laughs> fuck my tongue up. Dude, Culinary it really is good though. Picks. But uh, yeah, so probably offensive player or defensive player, the uh, rookie of the year. Um, there's a, there's a few out there. Devin Lloyd started really hot. He's kind of kind of falling off. Quay Walker for the fucking um, Green Bay Packers is is nuts. Mm-hmm. Um, well, hell, we might see some of them further up. Yeah, but but Sauce Gardner, um, savage. So cornerback for the Jets. Very excited for the future with him. Um, Jets Definitely Jets are looking good. Advertised. Yeah, they get a quarterback. Jets are for real. Yeah. All right, so number 19, we've got C.D. Lamb. Uh, we all know C.D. Lamb uh, for the Dallas Cowboys. He's fucking, you know, he definitely took a step uh, forward this year. This is like his first real year, I guess. Number, well, I guess, number, yeah, I guess, yeah, this is his first real year as a number one. And, yeah. you know, I guess he's, there are weeks where he kind of disappears, but I, I think that when you, when you hyper, when you give him the targets and you feed him the ball, I mean, he's, He's pretty reliable, and I mean, and he's he's got all the talent. He's nasty. So I think I think one thing you have to think about with CD Lamb so far in his career too is that like Dak was injured for a lot of last year. That he's he's had like Ben DiNucci and Andy Dalton throwing him the ball. You know, it's Cooper I, Rush. I, I think yeah, Cooper Rush. Like the list goes the on. Goat. I think I, I I do think CD Lamb is better than his stats say though. He's I, he's a high end playmaker. The, we haven't seen the best of CD Lamb. No, exactly. I think he's I, I think he's a couple years maybe. A, season or two away from really emerging as a top tier talent but i don't know 19 i mean i think 19 kind of seems a little high but we'll we'll see what the rest of this this list is or low or low low i mean sorry i don't know yeah i well, see i think depending I on how you look at sauce it. and P- panay over over cd to be honest with you just me personally um, yeah i mean there's definitely an argument he would put panay so well and sauce gardener over cd i just because sauce is having such an immaculate year yeah, yeah. Like as yeah, far as a game the impact on the field, I mean, and CD is talented. Don't get me wrong; I mean, he has done sure. what he's been asked to do. I just, I think those, those other two are kind of more cor- cornerstone uh, players for their for their franchise. For I sure. mean, the stat the, I'm reading the stat on his like 44 of 64 of his catches were for first downs this year. That's pretty That's pretty nuts, nasty actually. stat. Yeah. That's um. All, all right, so it's 18, Jonathan Taylor, rushing champion last year, taking a little bit of a step back this year. He's had some health injury, health uh, problems, but he's been picking it up as of late. He looked pretty good last night. Um, yeah, Jonathan, you, you, can't, uh, you can't keep up that level of product. Any season would be a step back from last year. Last year was a freak. Yeah, they kind of ran him into the ground last year. I mean, he he was like their entire fucking – I mean, Michael Pittman is a savage – um, but it's it starts and end with, with with Jonathan Taylor. So I, as much as I hate the Colts, I do like hope to see that he stays like healthy. Just because it's like he had such a good first two seasons, but I'm one. I'm just wondering if all these you know carries are starting to take their toll on him and whether he might flame out. You know, but we'll see. Right. Nobody faster than Najee Harris, fucking Trent Harris 2.0, or Trent Richardson 2.0. All right, so 17, 
We've got AJ Terrell, cornerback for the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, pretty good, pretty lockdown, pretty nasty. Uh, he is one of the few bright spots um, on that defense, one of the few bright spots uh, in Atlanta, period. Um, but he, he's a great cornerback. I mean, I didn't even know he was 24. I thought he was a little older than that. But Good on you, AJ. 5.4 yards per attempt. Yeah, that's pretty gross. I mean, he's all right. Fal- Falcons suck, though, so we can keep going. Fuck the Falcons. Oh, Rashawn, Rashawn Gary. Gary. Yeah, he's he's been a fucking wrecking ball this year. Uh, I think he, what is, didn't he, he tore his ACL recently, yeah, didn't he? Yeah. Uh, last season, this season before a torn, yeah. Uh, and yeah. This season, okay, yeah, so yeah, I remember he just got hurt. But Rashawn Gary having a big year for the Green Bay Packers, D end. All right, so set us from there. We got 15. Uh, I'm trying to speed this up a little bit because we're already at one hour 20. Trevon Diggs, who is literally the definition of hit or fucking miss. You're either right. going to get, he's either going to pick the ball off and lock you the fuck down, but he or, or he's going to sell out for that pick, miss, and he's going to give up a fucking 80 yard bomb because he gets he just, beat on the outside every time because he tries to jump the pass. Yeah, he is more concerned about. St- picking the ball off then stop i mean if, if yeah he's gonna sell out 100 percent for that and if he so they it, i mean fine. like they say though like uh, there was somebody who qual- quantified it because he gave i think it was last season he gave up the most receiving yards by a cornerback but he also had the most interceptions and they tried to evaluate in a point way like what like was it more beneficial or not and like it, it was more beneficial because he had a crazy amount of picks, but it like now that you're seeing that number go down to what probably is more realistic, like consistency. I mean, I don't know. 15 seems high for me for Trayvon Diggs. Yeah, but give me sauce me. Gardner any day. Yeah, exactly. I'd much rather have sauce Locking than down the whole side of the field. And exactly. To, give me AJ Terrell. Yeah. Give me. Yep. Yeah. And on that note, give me AJ over him too. Yeah. All right, so at 14, we've got Jalen. Yeah, Jalen Waddle, who is uh, a part, you know, one of two of the dynamic duo of Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle. So yeah, and that ridiculous Miami Dolphins offense. Um, yeah, both of them are just so, so quick. I mean, when those dudes are on the field at the same time, I mean, if you, when they're both running crazy, I mean, you can't guard both of them. You no. just can't do it. I'll, I mean, Cheetah's insane, but I think Waddle's have, it had a better season than. Uh, Maybe Waddle's kind of disappeared a few weeks. So the thing about Tyreek is, is that week in, week out, like he's getting the targets. Like he might not, you know, put up numbers every week, but there's some weeks where like Waddle kind of disappears like altogether. Like, you know, I mean, but I agree. I mean, one thing about Waddle is he's got wiggle. Like when he's like out in the open field, he's a hard motherfucker to bring down. And like, uh, to have that dynamic where Tyreek is the burner and this guy's like, you hit him in open field, he's going to get extra yards. Like, that's that, their offense is just humming. Dude, it's ridiculous. Those, They're around those guys. Mike McDaniels has put together such a great fucking. It, Tua looks good. Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 well, it's what, it's what happens when you utilize somebody's talents and not try to like force them into your idea of an offense. Yeah, AK, what's you played, happening it, with Justin Fields? Yeah, you play to their strengths. Yeah. Yeah. Quit trying to make Justin Fields a fucking pocket passer. He's not a pocket passer. You got you have to let him go out there and do what he does. Um, so anyway, so Jalen Waddle at 14, 13, DK Metcalf, Savage. How the is, fuck uh, is he still under 25? He, it's ridiculous. I mean, you feel That's like he's been crazy. the you feel like you've been he's been in the league for 10 years, but it's he's 24 years old. I mean, and we all know what a freak he is. Um DK he Metcalf. Has the most- inhuman physique i've ever seen in my life he's the same I mean, draft forget. class as aj brown i wonder if they're both under 25 i wonder oh I don't know. I was like, i'll never forget him running down but buddha baker in the open yeah. field guy's oh, a savage yeah. and if he could just get a yeah i mean he's got the best quarterback ever right now i was gonna say a real quarterback but i forgot <laughs> he had the boy gino um so anyway so 12 dk mccann for 13 seattle seahawks wide receiver 12 andrew thomas offensive tackle for the giants you know, I mean, their, their O line's been playing very good. That's the big That's reason nice. why um, they've their offense has been so successful. So, you know, I'm glad he's getting the shine. 23 years old. Brian Burns, we know yeah, what a savage yeah, this well, guy is. I mean, Jesus Christ, yeah. they fucking turned down. I mean, if if true and that package they turned down for the Rams and they turned down like two or three first round picks for the guy. So they must the really, you know, good. yeah. I mean, he's a game record for sure. If he could just stay healthy. Yep. Um, all right, so here we go. Moving into the top 10, 
Top titty. We will go. Oh, there he is. Uh, Tua. The kneeler T- himself. Tua, 24 years old. Well, I like Tua, I mean, but I put him for a little further down. Yeah, I, uh, de- I, I definitely agree. I mean, I'm not going to put Tua above Waddle. No. He is. And I would yeah. never put a quarterback who throws left handed on the list at all. So, <laughs> hey, well, I say Waddle. No Steve Young. Yeah, well, no. Waddle can't fucking wouldn't be doing any of this if he wouldn't if this guy wasn't throwing the ball. So, I mean, I guess there there is an argument that like he is what makes the uh, the offense go. I mean, we've seen a lot of receivers this year be wide the fuck open, and the quarterback yeah, and, can't hit them. And Teddy Bridgewater didn't look very good quarterback in that team in his absence. Yeah. So. so it's one of those things where like it does make a difference. I mean I'm I agree that I don't know if I'm put into a top ten, but I do think that like there is an argument that like Waddle wouldn't be on this list if somebody you know somebody wasn't putting the ball in their hands. So yeah. well, and this is a third year, right? So the, the first two years were not very good. And this is really the first year I think that you can confidently say that he's actually hundred percent forward. Hundred mm-hmm. percent for at the sure end of this year the, this I feel like he might be he might have justified his his position here. Right. Cause I mean, you're looking at, look, I mean, DJ Moore is the perfect example. I mean, oh. guy's been open all year long, fucking took, fucking, it took whoever, who, Sam Darnold in week 12 to come out and finally hit him, you know, so yeah, they need whatever. a playoff run now. Yeah. All right. So moving on, number nine, Jalen. See that this guy, this guy's top 10. A little low, I would say. Yeah. I would say he could be a little. A little higher. I, I think it's the same situation as Tua. He he's he's had a couple of years. That yeah, have been not for quite sure as good. But then he comes out this year and he's. But balling. his step has been like fucking. I mean, oh. yeah, this is a giant leap. No doubt, yeah, he, he jumped with two feet. Focused. He I, hurt I so good. Like like Jalen over Tua. I, I I think that's the right. Love yeah, yeah, bites. Yeah. Love bleeds. <clears throat> Did you see at the end of the game they had the picture of Jordan Love and Jalen Hurts next yeah. to each other with the Love Hurts? I'm, yeah, I'm a Def Leppard daddy. Uh, but yeah, I did see that. Great photo. All right, number eight, Pat Sertain. Love him. Another guy yeah. drafted in fantasy that I dropped that your brother picked up front office. Um, so that's two guys on this list. <laughs> Holy shit. To trade him to me. Antoine Winfield and Pat Sertain drafted them both. Um, dropped them both. But they're neither one of them are Anton's Winfield's a little bit more of a pass retain is a great game cornerback, but he's not really a fantasy option. Yeah. The problem with get tackles. Yeah, yeah. The problem with shut down guys is when they lock down their side of the field, they're not getting stats. Right. Like it's almost like when you're a corner, unless you're somebody like fucking, well, I guess Derwin James is a safety, but Derwin James is okay. anyway. Uh, yeah. But corner, you're right. You're basically like the, you, when you see a zero, you're almost like, okay, I know this guy just locked his side of the field down. So yeah, you need like a three, four linebacker or a safety. Right. So Pat Sertain, gross. Very good. Highlight on that poor Denver Broncos team. Rashawn Slater is a fucking dog. Yes, he is. That guy is a huge reason why you, I mean, Austin Eckler is obviously still the man and probably going to be good either way, but this guy is a huge reason why there are just, there's just holes. You, you look at, you look at a fucking, uh, Eckler get the ball in a handoff or like you see him swing out or like, you know, anytime that he needs to find a hole, the fucking seize part, <laughs> you know, so it's right. like, because of this it's guy, because of Rashawn Slater. <laughs> I mean, the guy's a savage. He'll pull like Batonio and just lead block. It's great. Right. All right. So we go from seven to number six, Quentin Williams, a chew oh. fucking, a chew bless you. Thank you. Uh, Ladies, so, you know, you. fucking, uh, Quinn Williams. Oh, yeah. Great guy. Another, we, we brought sauce Gardner. The New York jets have been a joke for so long that it's almost relieving that they are, <laughs> they're putting it together. And Quinn Williams is another one of those parts in that defense that is just CJ Mosley. They have so many great pieces on that defense. CJ Mosley, who, yeah, I mean the guy, yeah, CJ Mosley is built for success. Yeah. They're like I said, get a quarterback, please. <laughs> All right, so after this, we're moving Mike to the top. Mike White, yeah, we actually quit looking for one. You got one. Is so Mike White five, coming above Justin Herbert? I, yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, we might we might need to take Herbie fully loaded out of here and put all Mike White in here. But for the for the sake of today, <laughs> we'll 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 keep Justin Herbie on here, and and rightfully so. I mean, the guy is fucking. Um, He's fully loaded. Herbie fully loaded. Herbie fully loaded. I mean, this guy's got arm. This guy's got it all. He is. Who it was? Who else was in his draft class? I'm trying to think of who else because he is probably the best. It one was Joe. Draft, well, right? Joe. Joe Burrow. Oh, and Burrow. Tua. Yeah, Joe Burrow and Tua. Yeah. So great draft class altogether. 
I would assume we're going to see Joe Burrow uh, up a little bit. Um, so we'll see. I mean, yeah. So Justin Herbert at five, great, great quarterback, great young quarterback. I like that. Four. Justin Werfs. <sighs> What's it worth? So maybe Joe Burrow is not going to be on this list because I feel like I know three, two, and one. So, uh, so, so no Joe Burrow. I, I think I'd take Joe Burrow. I don't know who. Who do you guys take? Do you guys take Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert? I would take Herbert just because of the injuries to Joe's legs, but that's right. Small, but I mean, so I mean, there's not, mu- there's not much to, in my opinion that's different from them. I think Herbert's got maybe the more natural pocket passer ability. I'll take Burrow. I'll take Burrow. Burrow's just built for the bucket spotlight. He, he I mean, you really can't go wrong. Game. Yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with these guys. And like, if you told me they were both, if you took both of them at their absolute peak health. I mean, I'm with Stuart. I think I'm probably going to take Joe Burrow just because maybe that's just biasy because I had, you know, he's my fancy quarterback and I've kind of like become a fan of his and he's an Ohio State guy when it comes down to it. But um, <laughs> like, I don't give a fuck about LSU and I don't like the Bengals, but yeah, Joey B, dude, when the spotlight's on him, he'll shine. If, if guys he needs the big play, he'll do it. He'll pull right. it he's, a ga- he's a gamer. I mean, I'm not trying to take that. Yeah. I, no, I was, no, I'm I mean, with Justin, you. Justin, Justin Herbert like led the league in passing last year. Yeah. You can't, you can't, you can't, you literally, it's, it, you can't go wrong. It's a fucking coin flip. I mean, I, you, right. you, I think you could make the argument for Justin Herbert any day of the week. I think it's definitely situational. I mean, if, if it's fourth quarter, I'm going to take Joe Burrow every time. But if I'm talking like season long, I, I it's, it's, I, I feel like Herbert might be better for a full season. Um, and, and Joe has those bright, flashes that are just i mean they're i think justin's more say consistent that to the suit yeah we'll tell joe, that to the joe, super bowl appearance i mean i think yeah. he's more consistent i'm just kidding bub i'm just kidding i'm just kidding yeah. hey, so tri- hey. so tri- really just so sad tri- about tristan because we so tri- yeah, okay. had tristan number four who should have been a brown and and you know not the fucking honorable mention um <laughs> tristan Wirfs, who thank god is only out three to four weeks. We talked about this last night, I believe. We talked about yeah, we talked about this in yeah. space last night uh, a little bit. So Tristan Wirth, his injury looked really bad. Um, I believe it was was it Grant Delpit that fell into him. Um, yes, yes, that's, a, that's so right. yeah. Grant Del- Delpit fell into him. Didn't look good. Um, but Tristan Wirth, uh, best case scenario, um, three to four weeks. So glad to, we'll probably see him again this year. So that's that's good news. Tristan Wirth, though, best best young offensive tackle in the game, and it's not even close. So three, six sacks in three seasons. All right, I mean, what's our ridiculous. top three, boys? I tell you, what, I already know the top three. So top three, I saw zero. So top three, Jamar Chase, uh, Cincinnati Bengals. So yeah, so top. T- yeah, well, let's not go all top three. Yeah, let's just yeah, you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Three, three, Jamar Chase. We talked about him earlier. Savage. So Panay Sewell game did not get drafted for this guy. Absolute game changer. I mean, he, you know, I was actually just telling uh, a buddy of mine the story of front office drafting him and everybody kind of making fun of him because, you know, the, the, the all the reports coming out was he can't catch, he can't hold under the ball. You know, there was all this shit talking going well, on. Also, about he Chase. sat he sat out a complete season for COVID too. Right, you know? sat out the season for COVID. I forgot about. So that. there's just a lot of like, you know, no one knew what the fuck we were getting from Jamar Chase, and right. yeah, he and was, he comes uh, in he was and dropping, he was dropping on draft day, but right, and 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 he's been just an absolute sap. I mean, this year he's got the he he's got the torn ACL or not torn ACL, whatever. He's 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 back. Whatever yeah. he had for the IR hip hip problem, now he's back this week. So not ACL, obviously, but I mean the you guy. Know, is I think just, I think people forget that he you know Justin Jefferson was the number two in that LSU championship team behind Jamar Chase, and Jamar Chase is a year younger. So right. that just shows you kind of what what their mentality was at least in college and where they thought Jamar Chase was and where. Justin right. Jefferson. And I was just going to say in a year or two from now, well, I guess in a year, Justin Jefferson only got a year left on this list, but you know, a year from now, if Jamar chase wouldn't have gotten hurt this year and we had two full Jamar, you know, I still think jo- I'm still taking Justin Jefferson. I think he's the better receiver, but like, I would not be surprised to see Jamar chase take a step and be, you know, be number two next year. If there was this list again, like he's, right. he's that good. Um, but that brings us to number two, Justin Jefferson. He probably is the best I mean, he could be the best. He might be the best receiver in the game of football. Um, not not just best young under twenty five receiver. He might be the best receiver in football. It's our that one that one handed catch he made this season was unc- incredible. Was he pulled it out of the fucking sky and just everything he does is in. nasty. I mean, the yeah. guy is unguardable. I mean, there's been some games this year. I think he has been kind of 
locked down a few times this year by my boy Derek Big Game Slay. Fucking shut him down. But um, but but he is when it comes to like coming in day one being just I mean, ready to dominate. Justin Jefferson is about as fucking NFL ready of a, as, as a receiver as I've seen in, I don't know, forever. So yeah, the, the, he is the literally that chase guy. debate reminds me of uh, the, the bro Herbert debate, really. Right. So, Situational. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Who's number one? So that number one. And the only reason, Ugh. and the only reason our front office even allowed this list today. Uh, I sent it to him five minutes before we started this podcast is because he wanted to hear me deep throat a cowboy. And I'm going to do it. Micah Parsons is the best defensive player in football. I don't give a fuck. He's better than Aaron Donald right now. He's better than he is better than every single defender in the game of football. And I will fucking die on that hill. Aaron, he's not better than Aaron Donald is prime. I'm not going to sit here. I'm not going to get into that. But right now, he's no Jeffrey is- Simmons. There is no, yeah, I mean, he well, Je- Jeffrey, so it's him and then like I'm, everyone else, you know what I'm saying? So it's like yeah, right. Jeffrey Simmons is obviously on the po- on the perch and then like Micah is like kind of looking up at it. <laughs> but, um, but Micah Parsons is, there is not a single game. I mean, this guy is a game, there's a game, he's a game wrecker. I mean, I know we've seen game changer a couple times here, but there is nobody that can wreck a fucking, I mean, Micah Parsons is just everything. He's everything you want. And I sent a, I sent a video to Stuart a couple days ago of, you know, were they up a bunch? Was that why he was trying to come out of the game? Or was that why they took him out? Because they were like blowing them yeah. out. Yeah, they so, said they sit them. Don't yeah, risk so it. Yeah, so Dallas, go, you know, they're up, they're blowing whoever out, and he's on the sideline, like begging Losing to go back. And, like he's like, no, like let me get one more drive. Like this is a guy that like he doesn't give a fuck what situation it is. He just wants to be on the field. He wants to tackle quarterbacks. He wants to fucking wreak havoc. And I mean. To to be a defender and to to I mean Justin Jefferson has been like kind of like the the bar as far as like young players I feel like in the last couple of years and Micah Parsons has come in and just blown that the fuck up I mean I hate that he's a cowboy but you know this just another guy in a long list of Dallas Cowboy defenders you know over the years he's just like the next guy to carry the torch you know I feel like there's always kind of been one terrifying guy on a Dallas defense. Um, and Micah Parsons is probably the most terrifying in the last, I don't know, 20 years. I, li- I like yeah. seeing them bring up Alden Smith. That's like, we're with Micah Parsons. We're kind of, we're going to get to see what Alden Smith might've been able to develop into. God, he was a monster back in his day, dude. I, I mean, I loved him in college and when he was a Niner lining up right alongside another Mizzou guy with Justin Smith. It, it was so fun. Yeah, that's it's a good list. I mean, yeah, I, I, I my, so do you guys, do you guys think of Micah Par- would you guys put Micah Parsons at the top of this? Because he has had such an impact in like every game he's in, even when he's not at a hundred percent health. If it's not Justin Jefferson, then yeah, definitely Micah Parsons. I, I think Micah Parsons is like the football guy's answer, and Justin Jefferson's is like your casual fan answer. Like, yeah. you know, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Well, good shit. Yeah, I, I, it's a good list. I, I, I'm i glad we didn't have to tear this one apart like we did the fuck. I mean, Chris Timms didn't write it, so it wasn't just a total fuck <laughs> out of the list. But, uh, right, right. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, but other than that, I mean, uh, is there anything else we need to cover this week? I mean, I think fuck, we. I think I, I think I think we're over. So over and over. Damn, look at Jack. He's got his headset off. He's ready to go. Um. Anyway, oh yeah. Before we go, Deshaun Watson, baby. Tell him front office. Damn right. You know we, we're out here. Week A, week thirteen. Houston. We out here. We got it. Our our guys back. The Browns are back. Seven percent chance four. of the playoffs. We're not losing again for the next two years. We're going to the fucking playoffs, Super Bowl, baby. Let's go. Oh, yeah. And by the 7% way, seven percent chance of the play. Hey, I ran. Try again, motherfuckers. Um seven percent chance of the playoffs, hundred percent chance Nick's cock is hard watching that game on dude, Sunday. 110%. I'm I am not doing shit Sunday. What is um, the final score of the Houston Cleveland game? 20, 27 10. 34 7. 34 20. I say 28 10. I mean 28 10. Okay. Strong. Everybody. What if what if it was uh twenty three to zero? That'd be, That'd be sick. Crazy. For the Houston Texans. 
No, I'm saying because the, <laughs> the, 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 yeah, the amount, the yeah, amount of the amount of Yeah, yeah, that's why I know, I know. But then the, but the Browns the have starters. zero. Did you <laughs> yeah, see? Yeah. Okay, well, speaking of which, did you see that that Busby dude is bringing a bunch of those women to the game? Dude, what the fuck is that? They like, they rented out a box, like a sweet box. He wants his day in the sun, man. Dude, why yeah. would a woman who because is, they didn't who is dude, a victim want to go see their the guy that abused them? Dude, he's trotting him out like the Godfather in the ho train, dude. Ho! Getting paid because <laughs> he's innocent. That's why. But yeah, so we'll it's see. Weird. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday's gonna have a lot. Next week, we're gonna have a lot to talk about. Um, but on that note, we'll see you guys on Thursday. Uh, who do we got? New England and Buffalo. So we'll see you guys on the space. Uh, we appreciate the guys. You know, the guys, people who have been joining us on those. Uh, Thursday, we might try TikTok. I'm not sure, but if not, we'll be back on uh, on t- Twitter. We'll send that out. We'll post. Um, new episode tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified when we post. And like, like always, tell a fucking friend, please. We need some help. We're doing this for you guys. And uh, yeah, if not, uh, I mean, yeah. And, and if you don't tell a friend, then our jo- our Jonestown meeting won't be nearly as successful as we want it. So uh, come on in, drink the Kool-Aid, and uh, we will see you next week. Love you. Hold on. Before we go, before we, before we go, Michael Kors, bitch. Eat on them. Peace. Peace. Michael Kors.